Thank you for joining us for Money Love TV Entertainment. I'm your host, Grace Aguilar from Metrocene. And here we have the great opportunity to talk once again with, of course, the Consul General of the Philippine Consulate here in Los Angeles, Consul General Adelio Angelino Cruz. Hello. Good afternoon. Nice and to see you again. Thank you for coming over. Thank you for having us. It's been a year. Um, wow, time sure flies know, the last I time I talked I to you. That's so right. how's everything? Uh, doing good um, mm -hmm. so far. Uh, we're, we've been very happy. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, here in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. uh, personally, my family enjoys it here. I'm honored uh, to have very hardworking colleagues at the mm -hmm. consulate, uh, of course, providing uh, quality service to the 1.3 million Filipino American Filipinos here. Wow, that's a lot. US. Still growing. Yes. yes. And our, during your term, um, I believe it's, you know, there's still um, until 2020 that you... My term mm -hmm. uh, would end uh, mid-2020. Mm, wow. yes. So has there been any developments, major developments, since um, you've been um, here at this office? Well, as we had initially planned, mm -hmm. uh, we already implemented uh, special lanes for senior citizens mm -hmm. who go to the consulate. We make sure that we prioritize um, uh, our senior citizens, uh, persons, uh, uh, with disabilities, uh, pregnant women, okay. uh, we make sure that we attend to them first. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so far, we've received uh, very good ratings uh, and compliments uh, from the public from the kind of service that we give. That's really nice to know. And is there anything that you've um, been wanting to do that haven't sought for since your term? Well, we continue to promote and protect the interest of mm -hmm. our World War II veterans. Mm -hmm. uh, early on since I arrived, I did say that it was one of my advocacies. And um, we would continually uh, like to reach out to our millennials, okay. uh, the younger generation of the Filipino Americans right. here, uh, and uh, help them rediscover the Philippines. And is there any like programs that you've developed or that any, any of our Filipino um, citizens out there are being going to be able to partake in. Well, I'm glad you asked. Mm -hmm. um, this year we are hosting the 12th Ambassadors Tour. Mm -hmm. It is an activity hosted by uh, all the Philippine Foreign Service posts mm -hmm. in the United States. Yes, so I believe that. This have, would for sure. uh, mean having all the Philippine Consulates General all over the United States, including. Uh, our embassy in Washington. Mm -hmm. So this is the 12th Ambassadors Tour and uh, we are hoping that this would be the best uh, so far. Our consulate here in Los Angeles is uh, taking the lead mm -hmm. uh, for this year's tour and uh, we are very happy to share with uh, the audience that uh, for this year we will be promoting three beautiful cities. It's Manila, Cebu and Bohol. Um, it's going to be from July 9 to 15, mm -hmm. and um, we have prepared uh, a number of activities uh, for different ages. Mm -hmm. All right. We are going to be staying at the top hotels. Wow. In Manila, we will be staying at the uh, City of Dreams. Mm -hmm. In Cebu, we will be staying at the Shangri-La Mactan. Uh, and in Bohol, we will be staying at the Henan Hotel. Wow. And so. the most exciting part of the tour is while in Cebu, we are going to give an opportunity for the more adventurous mm -hmm. ones uh, to actually go swimming with the whale sharks. I've never swam with the whale sharks. And that has never been done before. <laughs> no. It has never been offered mm -hmm. in any other uh, ambassador's tour. Mm -hmm. So we are really hoping that uh, you know we get quite a number of people to participate. Right now we are uh, expecting maybe about 300 uh, Filipino Americans from all over the United mm -hmm. States and uh, we're hoping to surpass uh, that number. Mm -hmm. um, we have already received confirmation that the governor of Cebu mm -hmm. and the governor of Bohol will be hosting welcome dinners, respectively, and that's going to be exciting as well. Sounds exciting already. Oh, yes, please, I really yeah, would love hope to join you guys, guys. join us. Yes. yes, and we'll be able to, you know, share this with a lot of viewers, of course, mm -hmm. all around the world. I would uh, invite them to please uh, visit our consulate mm -hmm. website. Mm -hmm. All the details are there. Okay. And uh, the sooner they register, the better, so they could uh, avail of special promo rates from mm -hmm. Philippine Airlines. Okay. Yeah. So they have all the uh, land packages and all the all the details. Course, all the details. There. And mm -hmm. they could actually view it on YouTube. Mm -hmm. 
they could search and just type in um, Philippine Ambassadors Tour 2018. Mm -hmm. Well, I know Philippines have a lot of beautiful islands. Oh, yes. And yes. I, we've heard news about Boracay. So how's that going to affect, you know, the clientele, the business people, and also the tourists? Well, I believe that uh, the decision of the president to close mm -hmm. Boracay for several months mm -hmm. um, is, is, is due, it's long overdue, mm -hmm. because uh, we always need to make sure that we keep our tourist destinations pristine, mm -hmm. clean, yes. and safe for tourists. Of course. Uh, so uh, to shut it down for six months, mm -hmm. uh, just to ensure that we bring Boracay back to its former glory, mm -hmm. to further promote it, um, you know, it's it's time that we did it. Uh, Boracay is one of the best beaches in the world. It is. And we have to maintain that rank. Mm -hmm. As for uh, those people who uh, work in Boracay, I believe uh, our government has initiated projects uh, to help them uh, find alternative employment mm -hmm. while uh, Boracay is closed. So we're all looking forward to the reopening of Boracay yes. very soon. Yeah. This would also be an opportunity for our country to showcase other equally impressive Beautiful and exciting island. destinations, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Uh, there are just so many beaches all over the country that actually are still unexplored and um, um, shutting down Boracay will give an opportunity for our tourism industry mm -hmm. to further promote all the other beaches all over the country. Yeah, we have 7,100 islands. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and aside from, of course, the Ambassador's Tour, are there any local events that you'd like to share with our Filipino community? Well, uh, as you all know, we celebrate our Independence Day celebration mm -hmm. this June. Uh, we have a lot of activities hosted by the different uh, Filipino-American communities here. Mm -hmm. I believe there will be one in Carson uh, on the 2nd of June. Uh, there will be uh, several dinners uh, hosted by uh, different groups mm -hmm. as well. So I just want to encourage uh, all our Kababayans to support any and all activities that would lead to the celebration and commemoration of our National Day celebration this June. Well, we're lo looking forward to that one. Thank you. And um, are there any um, further projects or future projects that you'd want to still want to accomplish while you're still here? Um, glad you asked. Mm -hmm. Ongoing is our uh, reaching out, of course, to our Kababayans mm -hmm. to avail of the dual citizenship program. Okay. Um, I would like to uh, dispel those fears about the issue of uh, mm -hmm. double taxation. Uh, should uh, you uh, avail of or reacquire your dual citizenship mm -hmm. uh, and you become a Filipino citizen again, you will only be taxed for any income generated in the Philippines. I see. Right? Okay. And more importantly, mm -hmm. after you reacquire your Filipino citizenship, you will also reacquire your right to suffrage, which means your ability and uh, right to participate in the forthcoming 2019 senatorial elections. Ah. So even if you're halfway around the world, mm -hmm. away from our country, you could vote for the person that you believe should lead the country in the next years to come. Oh, that's really mm -hmm. good to hear. I mean, right. that's a really great opportunity for our and Filipinos. We need mm -hmm. the voice mm -hmm. of every single Filipino, regardless of where they are all over the world. Mm -hmm. So I encourage uh, everyone, please uh, do consider uh, reacquiring your uh, Filipino citizenship. Um, as long as you have all the necessary documents, requirements are in our website. Uh, you come to the consulate before 10.30 in the morning, you will be taking your oath by 12. If you do arrive after 10.30 and you still have all the documents with you, mm -hmm. you will be taking your oath by 3 o'clock on the same day. Mm -hmm. All right. And again, please participate in the 2019 senatorial elections. Thank you. That's really nice news. Mm -hmm. And is there anything that you'd like to convey to our Filipino community? I know you're a busy man, and this is going to be my last question for you. Okay. Uh, so to reach out to thousands and you know millions of Filipinos here in California, of course, <laughs> is there anything that you'd like well, to say? Well, um, on a personal note, I would like to thank uh, everybody's continued support for our beloved president, uh, His Excellency Rodrigo Roa Duterte. 
Uh, he has done so much for the country. He wants to do many, many things more uh, for our motherland. So let's continue to support our president, um, believe in him, and uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, you know the Philippines will be greater than it was ever before. Thank you. Thank you so much for taking the time Thank to talk you very to much us, for coming over. despite your busy schedule. Anytime. And I still wish, and of course, in behalf of Manila TV Entertainment and Manila International Magazine, we wish you greater and much, 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 much more Thank power. You. Thank you, Grace. And we look forward days. to you joining the 12th Ambassadors Tour. Of course, of course. We're looking forward to that. And don't forget, Ambassadors Tour 2018, okay? Maraming salamat po, mabuhay po kayo lahat. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching Metro Scene.